back, it's Taylor aka Sloth Reading. Today I'm doing a really exciting video, I kind of want to do it for a while, but I was kind of, I don't know, a bit timid about doing it I guess. Today I'm doing a How I Annotate My Books video. That was really cringe, but yes, I'm talking to you guys about annotating, which is something I've only recently started to do and I love it. It is amazing and it's so much fun and I just feel like it makes me connect more with the book, if that makes sense. I did do a bit more to my shelf. So I've got some new candles and stuff. I've also rearranged it a little bit. Hard covers and I put flowers in. I think it looks really nice, but I just jump right into the annotation, I guess. So first up, I haven't annotated that many books. I've done like Girls, Paper and Fire, Six of Crows, the first two books, in the Court of Thorns and Roses series. I've done Kingdom of Ash, Tower of Dawn, and a couple other ones, but not many, because I only started doing this maybe two months ago, once I found Books with Chloe's YouTube channel, and I saw that she was annotating books, and I was like, hey, like, that's a pretty cool idea, like, let's give it a shot. But I was really timid in writing my books at first, so most of them only have tabs, no underlining, no words or anything. I think in Girls, Paper and Fire is when I fully started annotating properly but that was only with pencils and underlining I wasn't pens or anything but yeah I'll just tell you about the tabs first because as someone who just started tabs are the most important part if you don't want to write in your book so I have these packs they buy A plus. I don't know what that is, but I bought it off eBay. I got six of these for eighteen dollars, and the colors. Let me open a pack. What an open pack looks like. It's kind of messed up. I only has one pink left because obviously I've used it. But the colors are super, super pretty, and they look really, really nice inside of a book. Like they go really well together. But these are the ones I use. They look really pretty in the book, but they do. If you want to move them, they do grab the ink a bit of the words and transfer it. I don't really mind because it's not too noticeable unless you really have a look. I know a couple people do mind that sort of thing so I just put a little point out for that one. So these are the tabs I use. I will tell you how I do that. In my reading journal I have a really shockingly gross like, annotating section so let me read that out to you. With the orange it is in Harry Potter books only it equals spells but otherwise it's relatable or something that I just I should probably tab or later use if I forget what it means. So an example of that is in A Court of Mist and Fury, I'm going through my rebirth right now, so there's not many tabs. But when Resan talks about the about the Dematai, Dematai, I don't know. I put a little orange mark and underline it because I wanted to know what that meant for later on. I don't know if you can see the yellow, but I don't have an orange pen, so I just did that. And so it kind of means it varies other things, but because I don't really use it that much i just decided to have extra options for when to use it i guess the blue is for sad moments sad moments are just moments that i either cry or just sad that's pretty self-explanatory um yellow is shocking or plot twist and i'm like didn't know that was gonna happen yes yellow is very bright and out there so i thought it was a great one for shocks and plot twists green is funny i do do a lot of this with sarcastic response funny witty comebacks that i want to use and just overall funny moments especially within the inner circle pink is love and i've actually used that the most so obviously i bought six of the packets and i've opened two and I used all the pink in this one and I only have one pink in that one left so i think i'm just gonna buy cheap pink ones because they run out really easily which is really depressing but oh well the dark purple is angry. I just felt like the dark color just really suited me being really upset with either the characters or the book plot or anything really sexism, racism, them being rude to each other. I don't really know anything. I think in, sorry, I've got my little examples here. In A Court of Thorns and Roses, I did a lot of purple, dark purple for when Nesta was insulting her. I did that in there and, and when Amarantha showed, firstly in Under the Mountain, I also did an angry thing because I hate her and it's a reread so I knew that she wasn't very nice and then for light purple it's foreshadowing or later on or it's just like hinting at something that's going to happen so i've done that quite a few times in corn and thorns of roses for tamlin and lucian talking about the blight and whatever this is a completed annotation i don't know i was really really scared to annotate a hardcover so I actually I didn't write in this book at all because it's a hardcover and this is literally so precious to me this series I adore it so I didn't want to like ruin it so I did mark it but I didn't underline or anything which is really frustrating because 
as I started to read this one, I started underlining and I'll show you what I mean. So I have these pens. Let me show you. So I have these three pens. I've got the love, the plot twist and shocking and sad because those are the ones I use the most. And they're the Staedtler Tripos Fine Liners. I will guess I'll link them below. I, I'll link the sticky notes as well below if you guys want to get them off eBay. I don't know if they're still available though. I don't know. So yeah, these are the pens that I use. They're really good. They bleed through a teeny bit, but I think they really do the job really well. And I was really scared because the first time I used them was actually yesterday in my Corner Mist and Fury. I just used the sticky note side as the ruler and I started underlining and writing so I'm actually up to page 186 and with the resand I said god I love him with like little love hearts and stuff because I love him he is a king and I just him and Feyre are meant to be and I also have I underline if it's really important and I feel like it needs to be written down I also use the yellow sometimes for the orange sticky notes but doesn't really matter. I'm thinking about buying the rest of the colours, especially green and, and light purple because I've been using those a bit as well. And another method that I use when I'm not doing a reread, I'm reading a book for the first time. I'm going to give you the Tower of Dawn as an example. This is my first ever annotation and it was only one colour, so not a good idea because I didn't know what I was talking about. But every 50 pages, I put a sticky note in as a marker. And every 50 pages, I wrote my thoughts on the last 50 pages and what I thought was going to happen, how I liked the writing so far, the characters. And then I did that for every consecutive 50 pages, which is what these going down off. So at the end of the book, it was really easy to see how I felt throughout the book. And it was really easy to write reviews if that's what you want to annotate for. So that is also another method that I do. I'm not doing that with Quantum and Fury at the moment because it's a reread. I've, this is my fifth time reading it. We love comfort rereads. So yeah, I do do that with every other book, but sometimes if I'm on pages and it's really intense, I just rip out the sticky note and continue reading. And I do my thoughts for the last hundred pages on the next one, that sort of thing. But it does really, really help with writing reviews and all of that. So I really recommend that if you want to, I don't know, write a review on the book you're reading. Yeah, I went from using the end, I started annotating with little things, but I don't know what I'm annotating because the color is just blue. Whereas that's obviously, colorful and sometimes if I have a big thing that I want to say and I don't want to use these because they can leak through after a little bit um I just get a sticky note I only have blue ones at the moment which are kind of ugly see with this I have a sticky note with a bunch of thoughts on it and it's basically just saying how much I love resand but what's new so yeah that is there because I didn't want to write it on the page it was just too much so I thought I could just stick it in there and then when I flick through I'll be able to see it and yeah, I guess that's my way of annotating and it's probably really similar to everybody else's because I watched a bunch of these annotation videos to figure out what I wanted to annotate and such. I do really recommend these tabs, other than the, the transference, them being see-through when you put them down really helps to see the words underneath so you don't have to like peel it off to read if you want to reread it later on. I usually only annotate a book if I think I'm going to like it, otherwise it's just a waste of sticky notes and I'm after that massive book one of my latest videos previous videos thank you for watching um i hope you have a great day and stay safe